Hi friends, this is Lincoln Pereira and in this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how deadline monitoring works in SAP Workflow. This video is the second part of the blog I have written at beginners-sap.com. So you can read the first part or the explanation of this concept in the blog. The link for which you can find in the comment section below. Okay. So um, to demonstrate SAP deadline monitoring in SAP Workflow, I have here a very basic uh, approval workflow. And this workflow, as you can see, has a decision step. And based on the user's decision, it's going to send out an email notification informing the requester whether their uh, request was approved or denied. Now, this could be a very generic approval like a leave request approval or a performance uh, appraisal approval or a purchase of order approval, etc. based on the way you have designed your workflow. But the concept remains the same that uh, there is a um, approval task and once the approver uh, takes an action on the approval task uh, based on the action the requester will receive an email notification okay so the assumption here is that the approver should act on their tasks or their work items and in a timely fashion so they should approve the request in a timely fashion but uh, let's say it is noticed that the approvers do not uh, act on the approval request promptly but they take a long time to approve or act on their work item so we have been asked to add a deadline to this uh, approval task such that um, when the approver does not approve the task within the given time frame, so let's say uh, within two minutes, then the task should become invalid or obsolete. Um, so here two minutes is just an example. It could even be two days or two months, etc. But I hope you get the idea. So let me quickly walk you through the task. So if I double click the task, I'll be taken here into the outcomes tab. So you can see that there are two outcomes that I have set for this uh, task. One is approve and other is reject and accordingly the decision is approved or rejected. Um, there's also another um, outcome called processing obsolete. We will use this but right now uh, let's move on to the latest end date and uh, let's add a latest end to our uh, workflow because we have to set up a deadline. So I'm clicking latest end here. And the assumption is that uh, within this time frame, this task should be completed. So select latest end date tab and um, here you can see there is a drop down which says no deadline monitoring active. That means this there is no deadline for this task. So to set a deadline, we'll say uh, here I'm just selecting work item creation time. So from work item, item creation time to two minutes, um, if the work item is not completed within within two minutes of the work item creation time, then what we need to do is we will select modeled. Okay, so here in the drop down we'll select modeled, and then in the outcome we will say escalated. Hit enter, and now if you see in the outcomes tab again, you will see that there is another outcome that has been added here, which says latest end and that is latest end here and uh, the outcome that we had added escalated has appeared here. So let's also activate processing obsolete because once the latest end date is reached we will need to obsolete our work item right. So I'm going to select processing obsolete and let's uh, transfer this back to the model. So here you can see in the template we have uh, we already had request denied and um, request approved. But right now we also have added another link which is processing obsolete and we have another item which is um, escalated. So this means that we have activated latest end deadline on our task. Um, in other words that our task is now ready to respond to the two minutes uh, latest end deadline. So we therefore now need to add a step in order to handle this deadline. So what we'll do is we'll use the process control step to make the approval task obsolete when the latest end is reached. So to do that, first select the escalated node here or escalated step and right click on this node and select create. Um, and then from the list, we are going to select process control. Okay, so let's select process control and then uh, click tick. Okay, so this is the process control step that we are going to add into our workflow. So in the step name, we can um, say uh, latest So I have said latest end escalated and um, the outcome is that the latest end is reached. Okay, so test end. 
and then the function i'm going to select uh, because we have been asked to uh, do a set this work item as obsolete so i'm going to select obsolete um, if we cancel the workflow then the whole if we complete the workflow then the whole workflow will get completed so that's not what we want to do we just want to set the work item as obsolete and then it would say okay which uh, step do you want which work item or which step do you want to set as obsolete so here i will take a drop down and because we only have one step in our workflow, so it's just giving me one step, which is the approval step. If you would have had lot of steps, then it would give all the steps here. Um, and we can select whichever one we want to set as um, obsolete. So here I'm setting the approval, approval step, okay. So let me now transfer this into our graphical view. Um, here, um, here you can see that I have now added the process control uh, latest and escalated. Um, so basically here now we have four outcomes for our approval request if the appro approval request is approved by the manager or the approver it will send an approval email if it is rejected it will send a rejected email if the work item is not acted upon in two minutes right then it will go to the escalated link or escalated branch here we have a process control which will which says that set this task task number 004 to obsolete so as soon as it sets obsolete we now have an another branch called process obsolete and here we can then send an email notification if we want to the initiator telling them hey the task has been set to obsolete so there is no need for you to work on this step anymore etc or you can do some other stuff like move um, set this task to obsolete so you can then create another uh, task and send it to the superior etc okay so let me quickly add an email notification here. So to do that, I'm going to right click here and uh, hit the create button or the create option and then select send mail. So once I select the send mail, a send mail task uh, gets is ready for me uh, to be added into my workflow template. Um, here I can um, just add a subject line saying work item or uh, approval task set to obsolete and then um, in the text I can just say to the user Okay, so I can just uh, transfer this now into my graphic. It's just asking me um, to save this. I say, okay, no problem. Save this as a local object. So that's it. So I have transferred this into my uh, template now. So here you can see clearly that now uh, we are having uh, four branches for the approval step. Uh, two of them are pretty simple. The request approved and request denied branch. And uh, we also have uh, the escalated branch. So if the manager does not approve the task within two minutes, then um, the task is set to uh, escalate. And if it escalates, then we will set to uh, we'll we'll send out an email notification to the manager saying that the or the approver that the process is now set to obsolete and they don't need to act on the task anymore. Okay. So like I said, instead of sending an email, we can escalate this or send the work item to another manager or any other agent, etc. So that's uh, based on the business process. But this is how we set deadlines in for our uh, work, uh, for our tasks in SAP workflow. So let me just save this uh, thing and let me this template and let me activate it. So there I have uh, activated my template now. So this is now ready for uh, for testing. Okay. So hope you like this video. Thanks a lot.